Hi there, and welcome back. And today's challenge is to learn about pets. And this is my pet, Spike. Hi, Spike. My family and I uh, decided to adopt Spike. And before we did so, we had a lot of conversations about what kind of animal, what kind of pet does our family want? And we knew that we wanted to have a dog and we knew that the type of environment that we live, we live in Texas, and so we wanted to make sure that we had a dog that could take hot summers. But we also wanted a dog that was smaller because we can do something like this. We wanted to make sure that we had a dog that we could take for walks, that would enjoy uh, going to the park with us. We wanted a dog that was low maintenance, right? Also, we wanted a smaller dog because, well, he doesn't need a lot of food. So, before you think about getting a pet, you want to take some things into consideration. The first thing is the environment and your home. What kind of home do you live in? And where do you live? Is the climate uh, good for the type of pet that you want? Do you have an area for them to go outside in? Does that animal require exercise? Do they need to go on walks? Do they need to be mostly inside? What about taking care of their business, right? <laughs> How do you do that? Cats have a litter box. Uh, dogs you have to pick up after. Um, and other animals that might be in a cage, you have to clean their cage or, um, and keep it clean and neat. So other things that you wanna consider before you get a pet is your ability to take care of them, right? What type of food do they eat? Do you have access to that food? Who's going to feed them? How often are you going to feed them? So you want to make sure that you are able to take care of your pet and that you get a pet that is right for you. So what are some other things that you may want to think of when you're deciding on a pet? Well, temperament or their personality is really important. Um, and just like any animal that you take into your home, you need to make sure that you're willing to take, uh, take on the responsibility. So what I want you to do is think about the things, if you have a pet or if you don't have a pet, either way, I want you to think about it. if you were to get a new pet or if you were to get a pet for the first time, what things should you consider uh, and what kind of lifestyle do you have that what kind of pet would make sense for you? What would be a good match, right? And then I want you to research that and try to find the animal that best matches your needs and wants and your lifestyle and your ability to take care of them. Because a lot of times we get animals because we want to be kind, obviously, right? But sometimes the kindest thing that we can do is realize that maybe we don't have the ability to take care of the pet that we want. And so, being uh, realistic about what we want and what we're able to provide to our pet is really important. And it takes some thinking um, and uh, some research before you make the final decision of adopting uh, a pet or bringing a pet into your household. So that's today's challenge. I want you to find out, think about um, what kind of uh, pet would make a good family pet for you and your family and why. All right.